So if you've been watching my content for the last month or so, you'll notice that it's been a little bit all over the place. Uh, today's video is going to be quick. Uh, as the title says, you know, what's happening on the channel? Where is it going? And we're almost at a thousand subscribers. So thank, first off, thank you to everybody that's that's subscribed, that's been here and, and stuck with me throughout this journey so far. And it's been a, a period of time, but it's honestly just the beginning. And I appreciate you for being here. Uh, so what is happening with all this random content? So, you know, I've got like some odd bike review or jacket review and like bike news and a how to draw Can-Am, like, you know, a little bit of sporadic kind of content. And really I'm, I'm experimenting. Uh, I'm trying to find content that is unique and obviously watchable and motorcycle centric. Oh, we got some stuff in the road. So there's a ton of people that are out there moto vlogging, which is awesome. I love watching the moto vlogs. And, you know, obviously I'm creating some moto vlogs here and there, but uh, I'm not really interested in just trying to create the most extreme content, extreme moto vlogs, or it's just not. I've been in too many motorcycle accidents for that shit. Ooh. And it's not worth it to me. So the moto vlogs that I have will be more community based and story based generally. Obviously if I'm going out for a ride and there's some cool stuff or cool bikes and whatever, I'll, I'll share that, but that won't be the crux of this content. So I'm, a, I'm an industrial designer, I'm a transportation designer by trade, so, uh, and an illustrator. So I like to incorporate more like motorcycle art like, and whatever that means, whether it's you know paintings on canvas or paintings on motorcycles or digital renderings like I've been doing a little bit here and there um, so I'm figuring out how to incorporate more of that kind of content into into the channel uh, and then along with that I mean I I feel like if we're in this motorcycling community we're, we're interested in what's happening what kind of new technology is hitting hitting the streets what kind of new bikes are coming out right so bike news is definitely something that i will uh, i've been doing a little bit and i'm trying to figure out hey what's the best way to make that engaging and i'm working on that and i think they'll get better over time and so expect to see more bike news and just a kind of motorcycle industry type of content. And then obviously motorcycle reviews. Whenever I can throw my leg over a new motorcycle, uh, I'll review that and put that on the channel. Cause again, that's firsthand, firsthand experience that I can transfer to you or share with you so that uh, I'll continue to do those. And then equipment reviews, right? As I find new equipment, I need to replace my boots and my gloves. I need to get a riding suit. I need to get parts for this bike. And so as I do all of that stuff and do the research for that and and, and am getting new equipment or doing research on new equipment, I'll be sharing that with you as well. So what does that mean? It means my content's going to be all over, <laughs> all over the place. Uh, but it's all motorcycle focused, right? That's that's the the linchpin for it, all of it is that it's two wheeled lifestyle related. And I'm just trying to figure out what the best way to serve that to you is. And your content or your comments and input along the way will definitely be valuable. So leave a comment, let me know. Uh, I'm open to anything. Yeah, and I look forward to creating as much content as, as I can before the year is out. So stay tuned and I appreciate you being here again. Uh, it's been a fun road and there's a lot more road left, so I love you guys and I appreciate you and I'll talk to you in a little bit.